Should vitamin C be taken with quercetin dihydrate in order to allow for regenerating vitamin C in the body? Yes, the question is when you take ascorbates like perk potent seaguard, would you be smart to take along with it polyphenolics like quercetin and dihydrate and soluble OPC, the flavonoid and flavanol of choice, ones that we've written uh, extensively about, been asked to contribute chapters in major medical textbooks, which we're happy to send you as a courtesy. Describing the many flavonoids and many flavanols, the polyphenolics and various other colored substances from foods that are really meant to protect the food itself, but specifically coercin and dihydrate because of its better bioavailability and because it doesn't irritate the intestines. And in the test tube, even at high doses, it doesn't cause problems. So yes, Albert St. Georgie showed that while about half of people have enough polyphenolics and they need ascorbate primarily with food-derived colorful elements, your foods should be colorful and eaten at their peak of beauty as well as nourishment. Today, in the 21st century, I routinely take multiple um, perk repair guard or perk pain guard along with my ascorbate and I tend to take the polyphenolics morning and evening. I may take an extra dose or two of the ascorbate during the day. And if you ask me the perfect or the ideal, yes, I would take some polyphenolics with each dose of ascorbate. But as we say here in the Washington DC area, good enough is not the enemy of the perfect. And it's good enough if you take the polyphenolics twice a day because they have a longer biological half-life. They last a little longer in the body. They're easily taken up because of the PERC unique formulation, a tab -sule. We don't have binders, fillers, excipients, flowing agents, and things to interfere with the active agent. And we're able to put more of the active agent into each formula because we don't need all of that glue and stuff to stick things together. By the way, Mother Nature doesn't need glue and excipients and binders to get food to stick together. And as a food biochemist, and I am a chemist and a biochemist, uh, it's been my privilege to design novel formulas that bring themselves together just the way food does. This makes them easier to digest, assimilate, and eliminate without a new burden. And yes, polyphenolics like coercin and dihydrate are synergistic with. They don't replace ascorbate. They work along with ascorbate, especially in the innate immune system, to keep it energetic, active, and repairing and recycling on your behalf.